What is up my fellow mobile gamers? In today's video, we got the battle of the healers, attack healers versus the HP healers. Like and subscribe for more amazing mobile gaming content. So we're gonna go over to the whiteboard. We got everything charted, all the numbers. We'll go over that briefly. Just I wanna go over uh, the tests that I ran and kind of what's going on. Cause there's a slight thing that isn't really gonna affect the numbers just a lot, but comparing it, it will a little bit. Let's head over to our heroes. So for our test dummies, we went ahead and we compared Vortex, which goes ahead and heals based off of his max HP. And then we went and paired him up against a Lily who goes ahead and heals based on her attack. So first quick comparison, their basic attacks, I have them maxed out. So the healing multiplier, they're getting both of those. So there's no discrepancy there. They both have the same amount. The only problem we run into is for Vortex, because I do have him awakened to five. He is getting slightly more base HP because of his awakening state right here. Awakened two, he's getting that extra 1200 HP. So his numbers are gonna be slightly higher at the beginning because he has that extra healing. Uh, aside from that, they all have the same promotions. They're all promoted to tier five. They are also at the maximum level, level 50 for both of them. We take a look at Lily's awakening skills. We'll see that this stuff doesn't really matter. The same for Vortex. He just increases his like uh, skill effects and gives you extra shields. None of that stuff affects this. The HP right here wouldn't affect it. However, Awaken 4 would affect her base stats because we get an extra 5% attack. So that's one thing that you have to kind of keep in mind when we're running this. But the main comparison for this video is to see the difference between how the attack healers scale their healing based on when you buff their attack as opposed to the HP healers and how their HP scales. For the gear, I went ahead and I did everything on a blank slate so everyone has their base attack and base HP. Threw on small pieces of gear where we increased Lily's attack by small increments to see a difference. And then we went ahead and increased her healing effect as well. Let's head over to the whiteboard so we can go over all the different numbers and you can see the difference. All right, we are at the whiteboard. So the left side, we got our HP healer Vortex and then on the right side we have our attack healer Lily. So for our starting off we got our base HP heal amount 4722. Now remember we did get that extra 1200 HP because of the awakened state so this number would be kind of slightly lower. Then going for Lily's base attack, 2909 heal amount 4724. So you see that I mean, right off the bat, based on their base attack and base HP, Lily only out healed Vortex by two, and that's even with that extra 1200 from the awakened state. So you gotta figure at the beginning, the attack healers are slightly stronger than the base HP healers. But moving on, it does change. So next we're gonna go ahead and uh, next test we had is we added a base blue gear piece which just increased the HP by 600. So that's our maximum HP. We got 4,807 for our healing, which was an increase of 85. Next, moving over to the attack, base blue gear, which only gives us an increase of 160. That's very important to mention. So that was our total attack. Our new heal amount, 4,780 with only a 56 increase. The big difference between the healers who heal based on their HP as opposed to the ones that heal based on their attack is the fact that the gear, bigger numbers with the HP as opposed to your attack. So it's a lot easier to increase your HP, your maximum HP to ridiculously high numbers as it is to attack because naturally attack is used for stuff like attacking, right? So you're taking a, a, a stat that's specifically used for like mages and marksmen and just damage dealers. So it's naturally going to be lower because they don't wanna have it to be a ridiculous amount. While HP stat increases 
are naturally always going to be higher. So because of that, HP healers are actually going to benefit more from the gear because the gear always scales higher when it comes to those HP stat increases. Moving along, we have HP plus 2025. This is a gold maxed out piece of gear. 5,009 healing. You'll see we're getting an extra 287. Now the things you see in the green, these are just this number subtracted from our base heal amount. So this one minus this one, this one minus this one, so on and so forth to see the difference. So that increase was pretty big, 287. For the attack though, you'll see our gold max was only 525. So you see already that a gold maximum piece of gear on a flat stat increases by 2000 and a flat stat for attack is only 525. Now, as far as I know, if you get like a percentage roll, the percentages are fairly, I think the same. Um, I haven't seen like the mythics. I haven't like taken a mythic uh, HP percentage to the maximum. I know that a mythic attack percentage will give you like a 60% increase to your attack but I don't know what the HP one is, so there might be some slight changes in that. Uh, otherwise, if the HP one does take you to a maximum of 60%, then pretty much your HP number is always going to naturally be higher than your hero's attack power. So for that heal amount, 4,909 with an increase of 185. So you'll see 287 to 185 moving along. Now this one is kind of the same. This is just going by their uh, base stat plus we're just adding 20 healing effect. So 5,753, so you'll see that adding 20 healing effect, whether you do it for an HP healer or a attack healer is going to get you the same amount of healing. So it was 1,034 extra healing. Next, I went ahead and I added that blue base piece of gear along with the heal effect. And you'll see that for this one, we got 1,134 increase and then for the attack, we got 1,100 increase. So just comparing these two alone and seeing the fact that adding an extra 160 attack plus the heal effect only gave us a 69 increase while adding the 600 HP plus the 20 heal effect gave us 103 increase. And then at the final one, we have our gold piece of gear, flat stat maxed out plus the 20 heal effect. 6,102 with a increase of 1,386. And then for the attack, pretty much the same. Their increase though was only 1,257. So you'll see that naturally the HP healers, they heal more because the HP stat always scales higher when it comes to those gear effects. And it kind of makes sense. That's exactly why there's only very few healers who actually heal based on their max HP. Most healers heal based on their attack power, but there are, I think, like three or four that heal based on their max HP, and those ones are by far always going to be stronger. But that is it. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed the video. Stay happy, stay safe, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.